Hello students, in this video we're going to compute the area of this yellow region and we're going to use the fact that the 2 by 2 determinant is the area of a parallelogram whose sides are spanned by two vectors. So we're going to have to convert these sides of this uh, region into vectors. And once we have those sides, then we're going to break this region into two areas, and then you'll see that um, we'll turn those two areas into parallelograms, which we'll cut in half, and then we're going to sew this all back together again. So that's the general strategy. All right, so let's see how this is going to pan out. First, I'm going to label the sides with the uh, respective vertices. That'll give me a better image of what's happening. And then I'm going to break this region into two areas. There are other ways to break the region. Uh, maybe um, you might find another way to break it up that you might find easier. I just picked this region. It'll get us to where we want. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at area one here. And I took these two sides of the parallelogram and I just kind of sketched them here and I thought of and I'm thinking of them now as vectors. And the way that we get these vectors is we take, right, if I think of this point down here as the head and this is the tail, I take head minus tail. So minus one minus minus four is minus one plus four gives us three. Minus four minus four gives us a minus eight. And I worked out the details here. Similarly, if I take 5, 1 is the head and minus 4, 4 is the tail, then head minus tail gives us 9 minus 3. And I worked out the details here. So now that I have these two vectors, I can convert this figure into a parallelogram. And then I realize that the area 1 here that I really want to get at is half the area of this parallelogram. But I can easily find the area of this parallelogram using a determinant. So here's how I find the area of P1. I get that it's um, the determinant is minus 63. So I actually didn't, this is a signed area, so we want um, a real area. So um, I'm going to put absolute value bars around that, and I see that the area of P1 is 63. So if the area of P1 is 63, then the area of 1 is 1 half that, and that'll give us 63 over 2. So that gives us the area of this triangle here. It's half the area of the parallelogram. Likewise, I'm going to find the area of region 2. So again, I find the vectors. I'm assuming that minus 1, 4 is the head. 4 minus 3 is the tail here. And so I subtract head minus tail. I get minus 5 minus 1. Likewise, I think of 5, 1 is the head. And 4 minus 3 is the tail. So head minus tail gives us a 1, 4. Right? 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 minus minus 3 is 1 plus 3. And we get a 4. All right, so now that I have these two vectors, I can draw the parallelogram that's spanned by those two vectors. I'll call that P2. And then we realize that we just want the area of this triangle, so the area of region 2 is half the area of P2. So we're going to compute that by taking the determinant. So here I have the vector 1, 4. Here I have the vector minus, five, one, minus 1. And so those vectors make up the column of this matrix. I calculate this determinant. Um, yes, I you know, could take absolute value bars, but the area came out to be positive anyway, so absolute value of positive number is just the number back again. So we get 19 is the area of P2. I know I wrote down that it's P1, but um, it should be P2. I guess I was still held up by the previous problem there. Okay, now that we have that, the area of region uh, 2 here, or area 2, is half of P2. So I get half of 19, so that's 19 over 2. And then if I want the total area, I just add those two areas together. So the total area is area 1 plus area 2. It's the area of those two triangles, add it together. So that's 63 over 2 from this calculation up here, and 19 over 2 from this calculation over here. And if I, since I have a common denominator, I can just add those. I get 81 over 2 and 81 over 2. I'm sorry, I get 82 over 2, and 82 over 2 divided by 2 is 41. So the total area of this quadrangle 
this region is 41. And you could, you know, tally up, you could kind of break, you, with these squares here, you can, you know, count them up, and you'll see that you do actually get, in fact, something that's really close to 41 as a little sanity check for yourself. All right, good luck.